Okay, so this is Ubuntu Mate 20.10, uh, and this now supports USB boot, uh, so you can boot from an SSD or a USB drive, just like the Ubuntu 20.10 version that came out recently, and it is an excellent version and runs really well from an SSD. So I found out about this from Wimpy's World's channel. Uh, in the community tab, he said this, and following on from the 20.04.1 LTS release yesterday, Ubuntu Mate 20.10 final image are also available to get the details and downloads here. So if you click on the downloads, and I'll put a link in the description, and if you have a look in here, it comes up with Raspberry Pi, uh, so all the details are in here. There's loads of detailed information about what's changed, and you can see from this list, there's uh, loads of changes have been done, but support for USB booting is the one I was most interested in. Uh, but it's only available on Ubuntu Mate 20.10, so the 20.04 won't work at the moment with USB boot. So to download it, click on Downloads, uh, go down to the Raspberry Pi bit, you can see this is the 64-bit one, as I've got a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, and then you click on 20.10 Groovy Gorilla, and it will download. I just did the direct download, it was 1.2 gig, uh, and to write it, I used Raspberry Pi Imager. I actually did it from Ubuntu, uh, and Raspberry Pi Imager doesn't install into Ubuntu in the normal way from the store, and I don't think it even shows up on Ubuntu Mate, but it's an Imager that I really like, and it's got direct access to Ubuntu builds. So, uh, I had this comment the other day uh, from TechCoder, Hey Lee PSP, great video, Raspberry Pi projects actually showed how to install Raspberry Pi Imager on Ubuntu in this video. So I don't do it exactly the same way, but this definitely helped me get there. Uh, so have a look at this video. It has all sorts of things about uh, shortcuts, I think Belena Etcher is on there, Chromium Media Center, there's various different things you can install into Ubuntu, and it's a really nice guide and a good way of doing it. So I'll close down that one and get rid of that one as well. In fact, I can get rid of all of these. So the instructions I've got here, and I'll put them in the description. So I put a download link, uh, I found a download for it. So open hyperlink, and you want to download the version for ARM64, this is the version I downloaded, ARM64.deb, so I'm just going to save that file, and it won't take very long because it's a small file, then I want to open that up, open the containing folder, I can close the web browser now, and I need to copy this text, and I need to right click in the downloads folder here that contains this file that I've just downloaded, and open in a terminal, paste that in, put your password in, and next bit, oh, it looks like everything's worked. Oh, because on the previous one on Ubuntu, I need to do, I needed to do sudo apt fix broken install, which again was from Raspberry Pi Project's video. Uh, so let's see if that works already. It's already there. Oh, so maybe that's changed as a recent update. So back to how you install this version. You would go to Choose OS, you would go to Use Custom, and then you would navigate to the Downloads folder, and you would see that file that you downloaded from the Ubuntu Mate website, and click on Open, and then, and then you would choose your device. So in my case, well, I haven't got anything else plugged in at the moment. Uh, so if I was to put something in, Let's pop an SD card in just to show how it looks. You would click on the device and then you would just click write and that would write to the image. Now let's close all this down. So I haven't done anything to this. Uh, I haven't overclocked or anything else. Uh, all I've done is saved a couple of shortcuts on the top here uh, and now installed Raspberry Pi Imager. But if we look through, so something like Raspberry Pi information, you can see various different, very useful information worth reading through. Uh, about what's compatible and what's not. So you can use Chromium on this, but Firefox actually works really well. I probably will end up installing Chromium as well. But, uh, but yeah, it's nice to see that both are supported. So you've got a donate button here, you've got your getting started features. Really nice uh, way of getting into an operating system. I have covered Ubuntu Mate before, so I'm not gonna go through all the details on it, but I, I really do like it as an operating system. I think at the moment, it is my favorite 64-bit operating system on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, 
all of this is just super logical, very, very simple to understand all the system settings and everything like that. But let's have a quick look at performance. Uh, so something like YouTube, and it definitely feels a little bit snappier than Ubuntu 20.10, but then Ubuntu 20.10 had a few updates and now is much better. Uh, but this is be this is great straight out. So let's go to YouTube and let's pick something with a bit of movement in it. Let's go with this one. And let's skip on, oh it's got an advert. Let's just mute that so you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, so you can see the advert seems to be playing fine. If I, oh it looks like I can't skip the advert. But then this is my video, so I probably don't want to skip the advert. There you go, so that's playing now. So it's on 720 at the moment. Let's go right up to 1080 and skip into the video. You can see scrubbing shows up. Yeah, this is the screen capture bit, so this will be the bit that looks better. I usually let it go for a little bit and then right click and do stats for nerds. But it did seem to be less jerky than other things I'd had. Uh, so what we got, it is still dropping frames at the moment. But earlier on when I was doing it, it definitely, yeah, it's not dropping many frames. So it's less noticeable. It's definitely better at 720. But uh, but I'm I'm pleased enough with that performance. That's perfectly watchable. And as I say, it does seem to have, now it seems to have sorted itself out and it's dropping very few frames now. Uh, it doesn't drop any at all at 720. But, uh, but yeah, so that is good. Uh, let's just do a very quick search. BBC, let's do Hot UK Deals. Let's go back there. Vote count still going. Legal challenge is still going. Uh, so Hot UK Deals. And it does scroll nicely up and down. Uh, which is so, so nice to use. The zoom is a bit strange, uh, but that might just be down to my trackpad. And you can see all the menus and everything are really snappy and really, really logical. So so easy to use. If you're, if you're coming from Windows and coming over to this operating system, it, it is pretty straightforward, really. There's, there's nothing, nothing bad to say about it. And as, as usual with Ubuntu and Ubuntu Mate, all of my folders, all my NAS drive, my printer, everything showed up fine. So, great work, Wimpy. Really, really good operating system. I need to have a look at overclocking this and, uh, and playing around with it. But even without the overclock, the performance is very, very good. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.